EA Sports. I'm in the game, and this is my road to glory. I was a star quarterback in high school, yet so under-recruited. How could that be? Well, Castle Rock High School was a 1A school in the state of Colorado, so compared to 6A competition in the states of California, Texas, to outsiders, all my hard work looked like stat padding on middle schoolers. So throughout my entire high school career, I had to assure anyone that wanted to listen to let me cook. And well, no one listened. There were no scouts in these crowds. The cameras weren't on. Just my boys and their families witnessing what I could do on the gridiron. 5,000 yards wasn't enough to improve my one-star rating. I had one offer from the Colorado School of Mines, but I wanted the FBS level, so I walked on, and here's my combine to showcase my build for scouts. Clearly, running is my middle name. I ran the 40-yard dash three times and took my slowest time to minimize user error because we all know I didn't run a 4.53. 4.86 sounds more like it, and according to Reddit, a reliable source, as we all know, that is a 75 speed. Bumped my awareness down to 54 for two reasons. King Sponge got all the fresh content, and my in-game awareness is superior with the fake spike. Don't be sleeping on my grippers. Not that it matters as a quarterback, but throw power 68 and throw accuracy 71 sounded fair. I mean, still means I have the worst throw power and throw accuracy in college football, but look at these clips. I mean, just uncorking a 40 yarder on the run, dime. Might need some pointers from Kurt as I get to the next level. To top it off, 50 juke, 50 spin. Feels a little underrated, no? The EA Raiders came together and gave the one star walk on a 57 overall. So sit back and relax. The journey starts now. High school football at the 1A level was easy, but now we're getting our first practice with Boise State, and we're going to have to dial in. I'm surprised how we're doing this far with some accurate balls. Get a glimpse of that 70 speed on the run. McAllister sells us. 4,000 XP from this week's practice. I think we're moving in the right direction. Week one against UW. The Huskies mean business, and Boise State's going to have to work hard for this one. We're going to learn an awful lot about our competition here if Malachi Nelson can make some big plays, or are we gonna have our work cut out for us? And that's Bowen's big play. All right, I survived my first practice in first game, so it's only fitting that I now don the Boise State jersey because I've earned my first stripe. As promised, we're gonna bump up the overall to All-American so we get a smidge more of a challenge than last practice. With a little over 4,000 XP points, I think deep ball is a major upgrade to have. That brings us to 60 overall, 73 throw accuracy, 70 power. We're just getting started. Second week of practice, all about making some strides, and heck, maybe we'll get a chance at battling for the second string spot. Pressure coming in here. We're just gonna keep it with our legs. First look at that 69 agility. Scrambling out once more on the run insane play are you out of your mind reminded me how i used to play some intramural football here at boise state i just didn't have the cameras on shoot i might just make the executive decision we're gonna go up to heisman right after this practice there it is we have just enough coaches trust to battle for the next spot in the roster in the depth chart so we'll get that underway here very soon but let's keep getting some XP points. Yep, as I said, we're doing it again. Up to Heisman already. Rainy one in Boise. We're taking on an FCS opponent in week two. First glimpse at that sweet, sweet blue. Can't wait to get on there and make our mark as a quarterback. But for now, it's Malachi Nelson's team. As expected, didn't see any in-game action, but that didn't stop Ashton Genty and the Boise State Broncos from walking right all over these guys. Time for a position battle against Maddox Madsen. The coaches have been raving about King Sponge, saying they haven't seen a one-star perform to this caliber since they can last remember. Difficulty up to Heisman now, so we should have a lot more of a challenge on our hands. And, well, Cobb dropping that one is indicative of that. Looking for a big play here. Just want to get our way up the conversation. I see you. Bowens breaks free from his defender, keeping that scramble drill alive. Uh-oh garbage pick last play here of practice i don't think we got the job unless we can get a big touchdown yeah that's not happening so we're gonna have to battle again next week air force visiting us today on the blue much better conditions and weather so let's play some football broncos up by 10 in this one against the falcons in the red zone across the middle McAllister gets him the first and goal if malachi in the squad keep winning this way shoot man we're gonna have our work cut out we can't be looking ahead to malachi nelson just yet because we got maddox madsen a formidable opponent just waiting in the wings to get his shot as well but we need to prove to coach that we're that guy 
just want to find someone that can spring open or heck we'll take it ourselves. king sponge got the arm and the legs we gotta make good use of these last reps honestly not sacks costly another week we fail but we're getting closer it's the battle for the milk can opening kickoff going up against fresno state fourth quarter action malachi looking to start off with an exclamation point he's got terry the young tight end and that's a touchdown maybe this is the week we give maddox a run for his money all right it's getting serious in this one king sponge ready to work delivers a ball to bowens let's see if he can get some extra rack drop him back for the smash it looks like cobb's got some separation can't get too fancy and go for everything all at once but these outs man Cobbs is putting in work oh man oh man he caught that oh my goodness I thought I threw a pick under heavy pressure yeah that's right we're running a replay in practice mode because that was nuts let's hope we can capitalize on that even further and I like what I saw across the middle but a very inaccurate ball incremental progress but still a failed week Southern Miss giving us a little bit of a scare in this one as Genty's gonna catch the slip screen sneak around the side big play bit pedestrian of a line today for Malachi which is good for us and potentially an opportunity in the future but Genty I spoke far too soon about putting the ice on this one as Southern Miss scored got the ball back in his driving. Billy Wiles and Frank Gore Jr. big parts of this offense and what a find. Choosing not to play with the clock anymore. They're going to take their field goal attempt. If they can nail this, they're up by three. Easy. And Southern Miss holds on. Oh my. Bummer. We are going to fall short in this one and uh, not claim the position again. Even in the rain, this game has been fireworks, and where on earth has our defense been as we've given up 42 points? Before we jump back into the position battle, let's get this discounted Robert Edgar, the fourth career boost, plus fourth or accuracy. Why not? Six reps remain. Cobbs, what a machine out there. Gonna go all the way for six, and that is our breakthrough moment, baby. 200 points remain. Let's not make this harder than it needs to be. 170 points is literally all we need that's all we need baby and that's it right there bowens big catch the hat my friends is a position battle victory over maddox madsen just took us a few weeks but hey we're the worst quarterback in college football and we are growing week in week out let's get it man put me in coach i'm ready to play our first ever snap involved for the broncos is a point after attempt we got it man i'm getting good at this holding them balls for the kicker game on the line here for the wolf pack down by a touchdown a minute 20 to go fourth and nine what is lewis gonna do big sack does dalmas have the leg sure does okay we're the second stringer 64 overall the only way to go is up and next is the starting position so let's battle back to our routine practice reps we want to make these account as much as we can because we want to get to the position battle once more oh yeah tight end is so open you better go for six my guy thank you for the points Bowens, you could have had six you dropped the bag we're in provo today going up against byu a rivalry game Big kick here can give us a three-point lead as it's all tied up in the second quarter. I'm going to make sure I do my job, receive this snap, put a good one up, laces out. Yes, textbook. Impressive stuff from Malachi and the Broncos. We're going to walk away with a dub. Another accuracy boost available. You don't have to ask me twice. And let's keep this party going. Throw power, accuracy, and overall now up to a 69 nice i've been hitting the gym like a madman it's time to show off this new gun let's leave the practice on a high note just a couple more reps i don't have anywhere to go here we are in rams territory going up against colorado state and we're up 10 zip let's use that experience to pump our stats just a bit more it is already week 11 of the season and i'm busting my hump to get on that field already 32 points away at the beginning of practice here thanks to a great last practice subtract 50. potentially in a position to go up for the starting role if we just do well today let's take these reps angry i missed a guy too on the run what got off him and uh the angry reps are coming to play as we just earned coach's trust final rep should be able to go into challenge week with a nice little check down it's wyoming week in boise the cowboys are in town malachi nelson has led the broncos to a six and three season thus far and they're bowl eligible but you can never be safe in college football that's right malachi you better be concerned because i am on my way for your job as soon as next week but sure in the meantime no problemo i'll hold the balls here for our kicker 
Bang. Three pointer. What's this I see? We have a chance to go into the game on fourth and seven. Our first ever on field reps coming right here right now in Wyoming week. We're down by three and Malachi must have got hurt or something because I don't know why we're getting snaps, but we got to make it count. Show coach what we are all about how we've been practicing, how we've been prepping. I'm going to get around the defender and do just that. First down. From under-recruited, one star out of Castle Rock, Colorado, no one knew our name, and we had to compete for this spot and opportunity. Coach is keeping us in, so I hope Malachi is good, but this is our gain, our chance to shine at the big stage. Add another milestone, our first completion as a collegiate quarterback. When you got Ashton Genty in the backfield, you use Ashton Genty. Do I prove my point? Genty carries us right down to the one. A little power option action here. Sponge gonna keep it himself. We got our first touchdown for the Boise State Broncos. That is a moment that we'll never forget. And better yet, I still get to hold the kicker's balls. This battle's not over yet. The coach has handed me the keys. Presumably Malachi still dealing with something in the injury tent. Nothing would start our lore in collegiate football like a big dub in the first ever game. Third and three, I'm gonna scramble here. He's got a small step on the man, but hey, we got some legs for a reason. I didn't run a 4.840 for nothing. Talk our talk. Let's go nine. Second and nine, running some verts, and we got a man. He might have a step. I lob one up to Bowens, and I just overlead him. Ooh-wee, that would have been tasty, but uh, hey, growing pains. Growing pains. Thankfully, defense gets a big stop, and this is it. The final drive, the final countdown, two-minute drill. Let's make some magic happen. Nothing like getting down to the opponent's 35 on the first play on offense, am I right? Let's do it again over the middle. This time Prince, the big time young receiver. I'm gonna use my noggin on this one. Let's choose some clock. All right, coach, I respect you putting the ball in Genty's hands, but let's leave it up to number nine here on this play. And I'm gonna go over the middle and, oh man, at the highs of our first game action, come to a crashing halt with that pick. I get to see the field one more time with 16 seconds left. Miraculously, defense makes the hold and we had time left in this game. What in the world? I'm gonna go back across the middle. Riley Smith, I found him for a 31 yard connection. Let's hurry this up and uh, we're out of timeout. So I'm just gonna have to make a quick snap. Probably should have spiked it, but heck, let's just send it. Let's let it fly one more shot. Why not let it fly across the middle to Bowens for six? Oh my goodness, you cannot write a story better than this. We fell and threw a pick, but we rise again. And what a story about character because this moment right here is defining like no other in a young collegiate player's career. Man, oh man, the Boise crowd is in a frenzy and our guys on the sideline just can't contain themselves. This is ball game. The poise under pressure, already acting like a senior out there. The signal caller delivers six. Breaking news, Malachi Nelson's out for eight weeks. So you know what that means? It's our team for the remainder of year one and the subsequent bowl game. If Bronco fans weren't convinced last week i'm happy to give an encore this week against the aztecs first and ten got the squigglies but who cares we're gonna make six happen right here <laughs> yeah about that see a man over the middle i got baited into that and that's a third pick of the game only in the first half looking like nathan peterman out here i'm not gonna lie and how did he just pick that ball we're about to be blown out here before half. First and 10, little slant action. I think I'm gonna scramble just a bit more. See if we can hit our guy, Peterman-esque out here. Went from an all-time high last week against Wyoming to like crashing down to earth. Make that six interceptions. I just can't see anything on the field today. It's all black and red. I know I'm asking a lot for throwing six ints, but I just need a little bit of faith from the coaches. <laughs> Seven ints. How many ints have you guys seen in a single game of Road to Glory? Let me know in the comments. Am I setting the record for you all? Because uh, I sure as heck feel like this is unprecedented performance. And trust me, it's only year one. So there are going to be a lot of lows just like this. Sending it deep. Bowens comes down with it and fumbles after making the catch. Branch recovers. Add another turnover to the list. Let's hit up our deep threat. We don't even got the arm. What am I doing? I totally forgot 
I have a noodle of an arm, so I can't even get the ball to our receiver. And uh, make it an eighth in. If we didn't have the record, we got the record now. This, to me, feels like a get-right game. Let's go punish some Lobos. My mantra for this one is to not force anything. If it's open, it's open. If it's not, it's not. And trust me, I had a lot of sleepless nights getting ready for this game. After throwing eight picks in a single game, I felt like I could cry myself to sleep. And to be frank, if we keep going down here against the Lobos, I might cry myself to sleep a little bit more. But hey, I've been meditating, and you know what? We're at peace with that result. It's no more. It's in the past. We're all about winning now. And trust me, I knew that when I came out here to Idaho to walk on, I wanted competition. I wanted the big stage. I will win you over, Boise fans. Trust me, I got you. Quick score on the board gives us new life. I'm gonna go deep. I just keep forgetting I got a noodle of an arm, so doesn't matter if our guys get steps. Off season goal number one, hit the gym as hard as we can all them bicep curls for the middle is going to get open yes sir bowens keep cooking third and one waiting for the tight end to spring open there dude i am debated so many times right now this honestly might be forcing the issue but we're going to go for it and yeah you're seeing this correctly we got way too cute way too fancy and uh we just got our butt ripped by the lobos great trust the process guys you're relying on a one star terrible quarterback that's me and i'm gonna get you guys to the promised land here eventually <sighs> looks like i'm in for a second week of bad sleep but maybe i can make up for it with a key play right here we're out of timeout so it doesn't even matter lobos come on the blue turf and down us it's a disappointing day for bronco fans you guys already know coach is wishing malachi was back and healthy but new week new chances just what we needed as we're hitting the low point dynamic banks gonna give us some extra juice to go the extra mile i just want to thank the city the coaching staff for believing in me giving me another chance they haven't gone with maddox yet let me show them why exactly i'm still the right choice for starters i'm a quick learn i mean i can pick up a new trick here and there I'm a gym rat, man. I will pound the iron till my knuckles are red. I am hungry for greatness. And ultimately, I'm a good friend and teammate. It might sound a little cocky, you know, but when your back's against the wall and it has been your whole career, you gotta be your own advocate. Five reps left. If we can make them count, we might be looking at a job secured. And it all comes down to this. 260 points to go means we need a strategic midfield strike and the tight end was open failed and i could have had it let's oil up this machine because we're ready to go somehow we're back for conference championship week even after dropping two disappointing ones and once again right down to the wire to see if we can secure it with a couple plays to go play action works as designed we should have the job and McAllister goes up makes a play is that enough we did it the starting job is ours no matter when Malachi returns from injury. That means at 75 overall, we are the starter and can begin working towards veteran starter, team captain, hometown hero, and so forth. We can really kickstart our path to stardom if we face our PTSD, it's happening. If we can hold our mistakes to just the one, that would be a major improvement than the last time we faced the Aztecs, let's be honest. First and 10 on the verticals. We got a man. Cobbs connects for a major play. 42 yards. Red zone action. First and goal. Don't threaten me with a good time. Riley Smith. Let's make him pay. This thing going. Oh my gosh. I cough it up on the ground, giving the Aztecs prime real estate. Yes, it's ugly, but mathematically, we're not out of this yet. Down by 13 with two minutes to go. Still got all our timeouts, so keep that in mind as we're just going to launch one up to Prince. He's got it, and he's going to go all the way. Hold on now. We got life. And, well, all the defense can muster to give us was 22 seconds, so let's use it wisely. Coach out here really wants me to throw a slip screen at our own red zone here. I think not. I'm going to throw it to Cobbs, and that was a great decision. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my gosh. Can you guys walk any slower? Any urgency on this team at all? Oh no. Anything here. Get down. Two seconds. Hurrying up to the line. Just need to snap it and throw one to the end zone. One. We got the snap off. I just need to chuck one up. So it's going to be you, Bowens. You got it. But we fall short. 
at the last second. No. Oh, no. Billy Bowens goes up, makes an athletic play, but the clock strikes zero, and just like Cinderella, we turn into a pumpkin at midnight. Oh, man, what a span of two weeks. We lose the championship game, and then we don't even get considered for a bowl game this year. Man, I'm sorry. You guys were cruising for a good season with Malachi at the helm, and I came in and botched these last three games. But stick with me, guys, because as a freshman, I have turned the tide on my game from a 57 overall to a 79 by the end of year one. I am ready to perform and take the next step in year two. So I trust I'll see y'all in the next one where we take on year two, Road to Glory for Boise State. If you enjoyed today's video, I guarantee you'll like a bunch others on my page. So please hit that subscribe button and go ahead and check out another video. We'll be back with weapons.